Right, today I'm getting my mirror caps ready to take to the hydro dippers. So I'm going to show you how to take the glass out, take the motor out, then take the mirror cap off um, with the fourth clip that you can't quite see until you get the, um, the motor out of the way. Uh, once it's off, because I'm getting my hydro dip, it's going to be a couple of days or so and I still need to use my car. What I'm going to do is put it all back together so you can still get your wing mirrors back on, you just won't have the cover on the back. Um, you know, people change them for the factory finish, uh, brushed ones, polished ones. You might be taken off to get a dip like I am, um, painted, vinyl wrap, whatever you're doing. So first you need to take the mirror out. Now I've got two um, pry tools here. One with a really tight radius, then one just about a 90. So, I'm going to push that down so I can see what I'm doing. Then push that out, get a really tight radius on in first. Almost trap it. And the clips are right in the center, so try and once you've had it off once, it's easy to see where the clips are so you know what you're working with next time. Unclip the connectors for the heated glass. There's the clips on the back, so they all sit around the motor. Then there is T20 Torx bits. For the motor, you've got one there, one there, then one in that hole there. These three screws and the three in the back are further up here to take the actual cover off at different lengths to keep them uh, in their sets of three. So that can just hang out of the way there. Then the next three is that one there, that one in there, and that one up there. But there's the three clips that you can see now. That are actually they're actually part of the wing mirror cover third one up there and then the fourth one is about there but you'll be able to see once you take these three off probably just a little bit you'll be able to see it in there get a flatted screwdriver or whatever you can in there um just pry that one just enough to sort of get past the little the little lip there on the side once it's past there it will all just come off
once those three are out, you can't, you should be able to just see it. What I'll do is I'll take Then the clip, you can just, if it focuses, yep, just in, you can just see it, just at the bottom there. So you need to push that one, that top one there, and then those two to get the cup off. Said we undid these three on here just so we can wiggle that back far enough just to get a flat head down in there to get the fourth one out. Try and work all four of them just a little bit at a time. Then once that fourth one down there is definitely past that lip. So you've got something to like sort of push against put these three back in So that'll hold that sturdy now. Then just watching the motor, bring it back to this position so you have more room around the back. That's that. There's your four clips. The one that you can't see until you take the motor out down there. But that's how you take the mirror cup off. Like I say, I'm going to be using my car, so I need the wing mirror back on. Like I said, that's why I fixed that back on with those three screws. And then you've got the three for the motor to go back on.
and that's the motor back on. And then there's your two connectors for the um, heated mirror. Slide them back on the terminals. And then it finds itself so easily. Push it on, done. So like I say, that will still work now. So I can still drive that, um, you know, I mean, they're not watertight anyway, but probably when I'm parked up um, over the next couple of days while I'm waiting for them to get back from the dippers, um, I'll probably put a plastic bag over the back or a bit of cling film or something. But um, when I get that back, I'll finish the video and we'll be putting it back on. Um, so that's how you get it all back together. Like I say, I can still drive it. Um, I mean, if there's really bad rain, I'll probably... You know, when I'm parked up, um, put a plastic bag or, you know, a bit of cling film over the back or something just to stop it getting absolutely soaked. But, you know, they're not watertight anyway. They're just wing mirror covers. Um, but at least I can still use it for a couple of days while I'm still waiting for while I wait for the mirror caps to get back from the dippers. Um, but once I get them back, I'll show you how to put it back together. Right, I've got my mirror caps back from the dippers. Mirror covers, mirror caps, whatever you want to call them. Um, this literally takes two seconds to put back on. You're probably going to think there's not much point in me uh, videoing this bit. But it's only sort of this easy and this quick to put back on if you take it apart the way I took it apart. So, hopefully you can see in the back there, that's the back of the motor where the glass sits on. So that's the part I take out and then you're looking through that hole there. Down here and that is the hole where the fourth tab the only one that's sort of difficult to get to the other three you can get with your fingers that's the only one that sort of is a little bit of a ball leg to get to so here's the main sort of frame if you like where the motor sits and the, like this bit the shell or skeleton whatever you call it you only want to pry that open just enough to get to that fourth tab because once you take it past a certain point like the hinge there it's quite quite a strong hinge on the manual ones once you take uh, the main frame away from the skeleton it sort of goes over that sort of little lip on that joint and then it takes I think I've done it a couple of times now on both sides and it must take 10-15 minutes per mirror <clears throat> sorry 10-15 minutes each per mirror there's just no method to it whatsoever that I've found anyway so this is the best way I've found just them extra three screws take that motor off saves a lot of messing around so I'm going to try and do this one-handed I'll show you where I'm at so here's the mirror covers I've got them dipped in forged carbon same as the fuel cap and um, we've got a couple of bits um, we've got a gear knob to do the surround um, eventually door handles things like that but when I get around to doing it so exact same as taking it off the fourth pin at the bottom on the inside is the only one that causes problems again because you've got your four holes you can see all slots to line up so you're looking at in line with the hole the fourth one the only one down in the corner somewhere there but you haven't got room to get this radius around the hinge there it has to hook round like that but and then the fourth pin is way off it's right to the to the inside if you like closest to the car and there's quite a bit of flex on these so I'm going to try and, the best way is, put, I'm going to put my phone down. They've got quite a bit of flex on them, if you put it apart that way. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see anything here. So, obviously they're quite brittle. They're only small little tabs. It's only plastic. So you've got to be careful with them. But pry it apart. Get that fourth one in that gap first. Where I'll put the spudger. I'm going to try and just pry just enough. Once you get 
one of the others, you know, then it's square, it can't be wrong. Try and keep it square. It can be quite deceiving when you think you're done. So go around all the edges and just feel that there's not a massive gap anywhere. Because now without taking it apart, you can't see that the little, the lip on the four tabs on the inside, they're gone through. So you need to give it a real, make sure it's really tight and then you'll feel and you know you're solid that's that takes two seconds hopefully i didn't waste too much time trying to explain it and you could see but um same as the fuel cap well happy with that finish going to be doing a lot more bits on my car with that like glass looks like factory finish well please but whether you're going for them or whichever one's going for brush crime whatever you're doing with yours i say change mirror caps so um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.